Good evening, Newcastle bus and ferry workers are tonight no closer to securing their jobs long term. More than 300 people walked off the job today to hear what New South Wales transport officials have planned for their future. Union officials say members are still in the dark, but the government insists the new operator will honour all current contracts. Newcastle boxer Kyron Dryder will be sentenced next week for assaulting his ex-girlfriend. Going by the ring nickname of Hitman, Dryder was recently found guilty of assault occasioning actual bodily harm. The court heard how Dryder grabbed his ex-partner by the throat and slammed her into the floor in September 2015. Lifesavers say the death of a 53-year-old Newcastle man serves as a grim warning this holiday period. A man died attempting to save his son from a powerful rip at Boomerang Beach yesterday. And three sets of brothers will play for the Knights this weekend as they look to take on the Broncos. More for you next hour. Good evening. Lifesavers say the death of a 53-year-old Newcastle man is a grim warning this holiday period. The man died attempting to save his son from a powerful rip at Boomerang Beach yesterday. His death is just the second in 16 days at the beach, with 29 drownings in New South Wales this year alone. A 23-year-old Maitland man faced court today after police say they seized ice, a custom-made pistol and $3,000 from his car. Police pulled the man over on Raymond Terrace Road after they spotted him speeding. The iconic Nobby's Beach Surf Pavilion will undergo a dramatic $1 million transformation starting mid this year. The change rooms will be demolished and updated along with other new features with work finished by June next year. And in sport, Newcastle's Kurt Fernley says he is primed for the Boston and London marathons. All set, in great shape. Can't wait to race again. Can't wait to, to pull the chair out at Boston and get it together and start rolling. Hello, I'm Natalie Forrest with you. Newcastle bus and ferry workers are no closer to securing their jobs long term despite a stop work action today. Services were disrupted for two hours as 300 people heard how the city's transport will be privatised. Union officials say members are still in the dark with many questions left unanswered. Baird government insists that new operators will be based in the city and will honour all current contracts. A 25-year-old woman was rushed to John Hunter Hospital with a serious head injury after colliding with a truck on Twill Street Bridge this afternoon. The male truck driver was taken to hospital for mandatory drug and alcohol testing. Newcastle Police tonight are calling for any information about this man who was wanted for questioning over an attack in Hamilton in November last year. And in hockey, Maitland Simon Orchard helped the Cougarburras to a 1-0 win over New Zealand in Malaysia. Stick with us on Prime 7. I'll be back with more for you next hour. Great to see you folks. Once again, Daniel Gibson here. The rain, well, in the last 24 hours, 10 millimetres seemed to be the biggest number. Uh, that was at Nobby's. Tomorrow in the valley, 27s and 8s, unbelievable again. If you are keen on sunshine and light winds, then make the most of what we've got for you over the next couple of days because it's all then going to turn. Sunday in particular and then into next week, chance of showers. <laughs> Hello again. Newcastle boxer Kyron Dryder will be sentenced next week for assaulting his ex-girlfriend. Going by the ring name of Hitman, Dryder was recently found guilty of sexual bodily harm. The court heard how Dryder grabbed her by the throat and slammed her into the floor in September 2015. A Newcastle Supreme Court jury has retired to consider their verdict in the murder case of Stephen McLeod. Mr McLeod died in 2014 due to bleeding on the brain after police believe he was attacked by two men at an East Maitland home. Gosford City Council says it will campaign heavily for any national high-speed rail plans to pass through the city. It will also pressure the state government to redevelop the Gosford to Hornsby line to allow trains to hit top speed. And Knights coach Nathan Brown has ruled out Jeremy Smith from this weekend's clash against the Broncos due to a knee injury. Well now today, thanks for your company. See you tomorrow.
Tot ziens.